Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to replace the hose on a Bissell Spot Clean carpet cleaner. Okay, so this is the Bissell Spot Clean carpet cleaner that we're going to replace the hose on. Now I've ordered a new replacement hose that's just arrived. Now there's two things wrong with the existing hose. Firstly, this end has snapped off. So that's the end that holds the actual carpet cleaning attachment. Um, that's now broken off in the attachment itself, but I'll remove that later. The other issue with this hose is that it's developed a hole just down the end there. So what we'll do is we'll replace this hose and we'll get this unit back up and running again. So we'll start off by just removing these side tanks here. And on the bottom of both sides of this unit you've got three screws. So we'll just remove those and that'll give us access to the hose connector. Okay, now that we've removed the screws from both sides, we can just lift off these plastic covers and that'll give us access to the inner workings of the unit. Now the cover for this clean water side of the unit can be quite hard to remove, so what you can do is just slightly lift up this middle handle part and that'll give you a bit of better access to this cover and then you can just let that drop back down again. Now you just have to watch this um, handle is now completely loose, there's nothing holding it in, so just watch you don't actually pull the whole thing off by mistake. Okay, so let's get a bit of a close up here so you can see what you need to do. So we've got two screws here that holds the hose into the unit. Now this is the dirty water side. Now you can see down the bottom here you've got a black hose. Now we need to route that hose around the front of the unit. And the black hose just comes out and it just connects to the pump. Now you could probably just see it in this uh, video here. I'm just going to point to it with my screwdriver. That's it down the bottom there. We need to route that black hose um, back to this pump. Okay, and we'll turn this round and we'll get this old hose removed. Right, so we've removed both screws that holds this hose in place. Now we want to give ourselves better access to this black piping that runs to the pump. Now you can just lift this middle handle unit up and you probably just want to leave it about there. You won't be able to lift it completely off. You've got wiring that runs to a middle switch here to turn it on and off. And you've also got the mains cable that runs through the back of this handle so you're not going to be able to lift that clean off but by lifting it up we still have enough access to get into that black piping. Now what I'm going to do here is just get a close-up of the hose clamp that we need to loosen off here. So what we're looking at here is the hose clamp just at the bottom of my screwdriver there. That's what we want to loosen off. Now the only issue that I've got here is that hose clamp is mounted in a position that I can't get my pliers in to loosen off. So what I'm going to have to do is just remove this pump, lift that up and then hopefully we've got better access to the clamp. Okay, so with the two pump screws removed, we've now got better access to this clamp here. Right, next step is just pulling the black hose through. 
Now to remove this hose assembly here, we just need to remove some screws on the bottom of the unit. So we've got three screws at the bottom of the unit here. We'll just undo those. And once that cover's been removed, this hose assembly will just pull out. Right, so our next step is to install the new hose. So we'll just unpack this. So you basically just want that opening there to face down when you're installing. And we'll just pop this cover back on. Now we're just going to refit our screws that holds this hose assembly in place inside the unit. Now that our two mounting screws here have been reinstalled, it's time to route our black piping back to the pump. So we're just uh, popping on this new black hose onto our pump here. And don't forget to put your hose clamp onto the hose before you install the hose onto the pump. So we've got the hose clamp here. And we're just going to clamp that back on. Okay, so that's done. We'll just re-screw this pump back down. Probably notice there's a little bit of corrosion on this pump too. Now I think the cause of that is that the clean water tank's just been left with water in it while it's been sitting so that's just leaked into the uh, bottom of the unit there and just caused a bit of corrosion but it still works fine so that's all good. Okay so the black hose is installed, the pump is screwed down. We just need to refit our covers and then that'll be a job done. So that brings us to the end of this video. We've successfully changed the hose on this Bissell Spot Clean carpet cleaner. Now the job isn't too bad, it's just a little bit tricky, but if you take your time you'll easily get that hose changed in no time. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.